Hey everybody, welcome back again. It's Deck Away with Mobile Nations. I I'm here because I had a couple of people that asked me about um, the sound quality and some of the picture taking abilities that the Vivo 8 has. So I went ahead and took a couple of pictures so you could see some of the color depth, some of the light variances. I even did a panoramic picture, which the Vivo 8 is capable of doing. And I'm going to do a side by side comparison between the Vivo 8 and the BlackBerry Key 1 uh, because. One, I have both of the devices, and two, they both have uh, dual downward firing speakers, so I feel like it's probably gonna be the best way to duplicate uh, a fair test uh, for the sound, which I've never done before, so you have to bear with me, but hopefully it'll be helpful for you. So, with the Vivo 8 and its cameras, the 13 megapixel rear camera and the 16 megapixel front selfie camera, uh, I took a couple of pictures, and you can <clears throat> have a look at them and See what you think with regard to the different lighting and the pictures. Uh, I went outside and I took some of kind of the surrounding environment, uh, my pet bird, and a hibiscus, a crepe myrtle, and then one or two pictures of myself with a front facing camera. So uh, as you can see here, this has some different lighting and shading. Um, it's about 12 o'clock outside right now, so it's pretty bright. The trees offer a little bit of a shade. So you can see all the different um, the greens that are in there between some of the drier grass and the more fresh grass and the trees themselves. So you zoom in and actually it's pretty clear. Um, I've been very happy with the overall quality of the uh, pictures themselves. So nothing to complain about there. Go over here. So this is the, the panoramic uh, picture that I took. So I think I've only ever taken one or two panoramic pictures before. So you can have a look here and kind of went over my backyard to have a look around. It kind of blends everything together. So that's one of the nifty features that the camera has. There's a selfie that I took outside. Um, there's some lighting in the background, but you can see it actually takes pretty clear pictures. A picture of my green sheet conure. His name is Pineapple. So he wanted to say hi for the video. But you can see you've got the greens and the oranges and the reds. It's got a lot of different colors on them, so I thought that would be a good picture. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This light's kind of bleeding it out a little bit. And here's a picture of a hibiscus that I took outside. Uh, it's not quite bloomed yet, but you can see it's got the greens and it's got the waxiness on the, the leaves. So it gives a little bit of a reflective uh, look to it with the light bouncing off of it. But Overall, it's got pretty good clarity and the color spectrum is good too. Uh, it was a little windy. I would like to see a little bit more clarity when I'm you know, close up here with the with, with the pollen and stuff inside of it. But all, all in all, I mean, that takes pretty good pictures, I think. Uh, this one, a little bit light variancy. Uh, sunny outside, but you can see the shade there. So it, it does lose a little bit of uh, definition as you, as you kind of zoom in a little bit. It was moving too, so it was kind of hard. You see the stuff that's more static, that pops out a little bit better. So you can see the detail down here on the leaves is better than the close-up detail that I had on, on the blooms there. And finally, you know, nice picture down the street. So overall, I think that the picture quality is really pretty good on it. Um, one thing that's nice, the shutter speed is actually really good. I'm just going to take a quick picture just so you can see what the shutter speed looks like. See, shutter speed is actually really good, which is one of the qualities I really like in a camera because I'm not so much of a professional photo uh, taker as I am somebody who just wants to pull my phone out and take a quick picture real quick. So now that I've gone through that, uh, so I'll look at the camera here real quick. There are some options that you can look at. Uh, when you're taking pictures, you have your video option, the face beauty. Now this one's kind of weird because um, you can do a smoother. It's got a balancing uh, line here so you can smooth pictures out. And it's got whitening so you can change it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. Slimming, if that's something that you're interested in for whatever you're taking a picture of. But you can make whatever the object object is you're taking a picture of. You know, your face looks slimmer. And then you got the eye enlarger. So... I don't know if I can do this while I'm recording, uh, but it actually does work. Uh, you can take a picture and you can move the little scale here and it'll take somebody's eye and kind of make their eye look bigger and stand out more. So it's kind of neat. Uh, you get the panoramic, you get the night photos, which is daytime right now, so I can't take any night photos and show that off. But um, 
it is really impressive, especially for a for the price. I mean, it is Blue's flagship device, so it should have a pretty good camera in it. But as far as you know, paying two ninety nine, and if you're lucky enough to get one for one ninety nine on launch, then it's a really good deal. All right, on for the sound test. So uh, I went ahead just because there's no copyright stuff involved with this. Pull up the free background music on YouTube. So I'll go ahead and fire this one up, and I'll let you be the judge for it. It does, since it has downward firing speakers, does you know bounce off the table a little bit so it sounds better and the volume's a little bit higher because it's reflecting up. So I'll adjust the phone during the video so you can get a little bit of a sound difference. So this is, like I said, the free background music. You see, see the volume does go down a little bit. But all in all, it's got really good sound on it. It's good for watching videos and stuff, listening to music. Uh, the bass and the lows are not really that pronounced. And the mids and the highs are there. They're represented really well. But as it gets in with more mids, it kind of drowns out the highs a little bit. So I will say that a little bit. All right, so now that we've done that one, we'll bring the key one over. Ta-da! I've got the same exact background music. So we'll play that now. So this one, you know, the sound is a little bit clearer. Uh, I guess I'll say bright, you know, kind of like the difference between a you know, regular piano and a bright piano sound. The, the sounds really stick out a little bit more. Uh, the highs are definitely more pronounced on the key one, but the volume across the spectrum is pretty much about the same. Uh, I think that the Vivo 8 is actually a little bit louder, but it seems like the quality of sound is just slightly better with the key one. But I'll let you be the judge of that, you decide. Anyway, back to the VO8. All right, so hopefully that helped answer some of your questions. Uh, I appreciate y'all reaching out and asking me uh, for me to do this video. And also, if you have any more questions or anything else that you want to know about the VO8, uh, hopefully I can help you out with that as well. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And as always, if you have any questions, I try to get back to them as quickly as possible. And I love hearing from y'all. So thanks again. Y'all have a great day. And thanks for tuning in.